Today we are going to be installing this LCD display carbon fiber steering wheel on our 2017 Julia Quadrifoglio. First things first, we want to disconnect the battery in the trunk. Twist these two to the open position and pull it straight out. You can reach in and there's a quick release on the negative terminal. Now that the battery is disconnected, we can release the airbag. On the bottom of the steering wheel here, you can see this hole. This hole is the spring that you need to use to release the airbag. You can use a five millimeter Allen key. Just like that, the airbag is out. Now that the airbag is loose, you wanna make sure to straighten your steering wheel to prep it for removal. Once the wheel is straight, you can begin to remove the connectors. Start with the airbag connector with a flathead or a pick. Pop this tab. Once it's out, you can remove the connector. Next clip is on top of the airbag. Release this clip and pull out. Just like so. Lastly, there are two more charge connectors on the back of the airbag here. Same as before, with a pick or a flathead, you can pop both loose and remove. Gently wiggle them out. And that's it, airbag is out. Take that same pick or flathead and remove this rubber dust cover. Once that's out, you're gonna need a 24 millimeter half inch combination in order to remove this nut. Be sure not to use an impact, use hand tools to remove this. Now take the same flathead or pick to remove your blue clip. Release all three airbag lines. And then release this black clip at the bottom left. Now feed each line out individually. And your wheel is off. Now we're gonna transfer all of the electrical components over to the new steering wheel. Now we're gonna remove the five Phillips head screws on the back of the steering wheel. Now the two three millimeter Allen keys. Once you have all the hardware out, save it because you will be reusing it. You're gonna to want to work out the corners here and here. Just like that. Once you have the face plate loose, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and work these bits out. There are two connectors on either side. Just with a flat head or a pick, you can remove them. Just like that. Once you have the faceplate off, you're gonna to want to pull away your start stop button and release this plate. Now you can access the connector on the left side of the steering wheel. And now you're gonna grab your steering wheel and start to assemble. Firstly, we are going to install the start stop button. And now the bracket. Should slip just into place. Now to reinstall your faceplate. Once you have the connections on the back of the faceplate, you're gonna to wanna to massage each corner in. Gently, the rubber is firm, so just take it slow. Once you put your hardware in, it will bring these gaps in. Now reinstall your two three millimeter Allen key hex bolts. Now you can reinstall all five Phillips head screws. And now you're ready to put it back in the car.
Now fish your airbag lines back through one by one and refit your steering wheel. Make sure to keep the clock spring straight up and down. Be sure to apply some blue Loctite and re-tighten this nut to the factory torque spec. Um, we're going to go ahead and splice it into this power line here on the side of the blue connector and then the ground wire we're going to put here. Now you can go ahead and heat shrink or tape up these wires. Now that you've got that all wrapped up, you can plug it back in to get out of your way and start on the ground. Now go ahead and strip away the ground wire. Now that it is all wrapped up, we're going to plug it back in and before we install the airbag, we're going to test to make sure the display works. Alright, we're going to reconnect the battery and test the display. Now that we know it works, we need to remove the battery negative again to reinstall the airbag. Now, reinstall your rubber dust cover. Now, reinstall the airbag lines to its corresponding colors. And lastly, the horn. Now you should be able to just press your airbag right into place. And you're done. Go ahead and reconnect your negative connection. And close up this cover. Lastly, you're going to install this Bluetooth dongle into your OBD2 port. Just like that. And now you should be able to start your car. Go ahead and turn your steering wheel all the way to the right for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now back over to the left. One, two, three, four, five. And go ahead and center it. And it should clear all of the DTCs. And you can go ahead and turn off the car and start it back up. And you're all done. You can configure the settings on the steering wheel by holding the right button. And to cycle, down will be left, up will be right. So we're gonna go down to settings, and you'll have to change your speed units from metric to imperial, and your temperature units. You can choose Celsius and Fahrenheit. Go ahead and hold this right button. Scroll down to LED set, hold it again. Then you're gonna change your shift speed. Your upper limit will be the red line. Your lower, li lower limit will be what the first light pops up at. So our lower limit will have, we'll have set at 1500, that seems appropriate. And then our upper limit is at 6500 RPM. This car roughly red lines right around 6800, but we're gonna keep it at 6500. That's how you install your LCD display carbon fiber steering wheel in your Alfa Romeo, Giulia, or Stelvio Quadrifoglio. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.